My name is Tricia O'Grady. I live in Rifle. I'm here to introduce you what's been happening at our uh, local libraries, the Garfield County Libraries, the six locations. You may have already heard that there's a library petition that's been circulating since June in regards to some obscene materials that are found in our libraries. This is what started it all. Uh, Prison School was one of the books that I found. It um, has a warning on here, uh, an explicit warning. It says, parental advisory, warning, explicit content. The other book I found uh, was called Finder. And uh, that one has a warning too, but it says mature. And these two books got me started wanting to do a petition because they have material that's available for children, even though they're in the adult section at the library. Children can still access them with the self-checkout with no parental advisory. So I came along with this petition and I'd like to read it to you so you understand that this is not a ban of books, it's not a Marxist movement, it isn't Nazism, this is what it says. To Garfield County Commissioners, and the Garfield County Public Library District. We, the citizens of Garfield County, have read the reverse page, which I explain the explicit materials that are in this book. Agree that these two book series, along with other material that have a parental advisory warning, should not be freely accessed by minors, people under 18. These materials need to be in a locked bookcase, placed in an employee area, or in a separate room marked adult only at each location. Furthermore, these materials need to be checked out by a library employee, who then has the responsibility to prove they are 18 with an ID. If these requirements are not met, then we ask the aforementioned materials be removed from the library inventory. So we've been fighting this issue as a small group. We've got about 1,300 signatures now and presented it to the library board who's initially denied our request. Um, and then we appealed it to the library trustees who denied our request. So we've risen to the level of the county commissioners. But just let me show you an example of some of the material I'm talking about. Uh, the, pr the premise of prison school, it's um, the manga style. And if you're not familiar with manga is, it's the anime version. If it's printed material and it's the Japanese comic book style, they call it manga or manga. And that's what this is. So it reads backwards. And a lot of children are already familiar with this material when they're five or six years old, when they talk about anime or manga with the more simplified versions of these type of comic books. But the premise of this book is, it's an all-girls school, and eventually they allow five boys in there who end up being um, peeping toms in the girls' locker room. So then they proceed to imprison these boys and basically torture them and have them perform sexual acts in order to get released from the school. And the um, lady who uh, runs this school, she's a dominatrix. And she does things like whips the boys while they're naked, naked tied to a pole. Uh, so here's an example of the woman. I don't know how many times you get to see her vagina or her butt in these books, but it's over and over again. She has these um, extremely large breasts. So she's like a Barbie doll kind of character in here. And this is when she was younger and still developing. You can see she has these really large breasts. And they call her the, the vice, the vice principal. Oh, here's a really good shot of her where she's busting out of her uh, clothing because of her breast. And this goes throughout the whole book. And when these books were reviewed, they denied removing these books because they said that it, it, it uh, was not pornographic. And pornography is protected by the First Amendment, but obscenity is not. And I claim that these are obscene and inappropriate for anyone under 18. And uh, there's one boy in here who identifies as a masochist. 
And throughout the story, one of the girls, her goal in life is to become a dominatrix. And she wants to please this boy who's a masochist. So she goes to this porn store and gets this outfit. So she comes back and then starts whipping him. That's in one of the volumes. So here she is again. It's, it's, it permeates this book. It isn't just a couple of pages. It's literally every page of this book shows this woman being objectified with her private parts. Then this other book, Finder, is about two gay men. And one of the men appears to be boy-like. So it's kind of hard to tell his age unless you read the bio on him. But they have this kind of sadistic love affair. This one's pretty mild compared to all the books I found after that. But this is one of the initial ones that I found. This is also manga, which reads backwards. Its warning says explicit content parental advisory. At the Silt Library, they chose to put a red dot on there, which indicates it's for adults only. That could be a good thing if they actually had a sign to explain what the red dots mean, so then parents know not to have their children go there. But So without the identification, then children could tell other children, go see the red dot books. Mm -hmm. We all know how that works, right? Yeah. Since then, I found more books, and they are not all manga. This one, I would say, is probably one of the worst I found. There's at least eight volumes. Uh, I found it in two locations. There's one in Glenwood and Carbondale. It's called The Boys. Please check it out for yourself. It's written by Garth Ennis. And it has a rating of mature. That's another thing I think we need to do, is to have a standard rating of these books done by a neutral third party, not the publisher and not the author. Just like we do with movies. There's all these different types of warnings which are confusing, because some of the warnings will say 16 and over, and yet the, the library puts them in the young adult section. When I hear the word adult, I think at least 18, if not 21. So there's that kind of confusion of what books are appropriate for what age of children. So the boys is, the premise of this, from what I understand, is a bunch of narcissistic men that run around and act like boys. And one of the worst scenes here is bestiality. Here's a dog that is humping a woman. So, here's another series of The Boys written by Garth Ennis, and you can see it's a pool party orgy. This may not be seen, seen as pornography, as the legal definition would have you say, because pornography has to do with photographs, like you would see in Hustler or Playboy. So I really think that as this technology progresses into AI and have ha, like people that can manipulate their um, facial features when they're talking, w the law needs to be addressed and come up to date with what's happening here in reality. Now obscenity is not covered by the First Amendment, which pornography is. So obscenity has to meet a couple of standards. One of those would be if it has any kind of artistic value. Yeah, the person has some talent here, but is this our art? Hmm, a new body maybe, but engaged in an orgy? It also has to have literary value, literary value. So if I read this, does this sound like literature to you? Uh, mm, uh, oh, that's it. Me. Swallow it all. Oh, Jesus, you're stretching my powers. Kiss me. I would not consider that literature. The other standard it needs to meet is scientific value. What's scientific about people having an orgy? Maybe they'll talk about sexually transmitted diseases at some point when we have this. Maybe that's their, their idea of what 
scientific value of this is. So in my opinion, this is obscene and pornographic because I have my own standards and it doesn't matter whether it's a photograph or a drawing. As they say, you know it when you see it. Parents, you need to start getting engaged and coming to the school board meetings. I understand it's a big commitment, but your children are worth it. They are the future of our nation and we're counting on them to lead us into the next century. So please consider coming to the school board meetings and making your voices heard. You deserve to have better education for your children.